Yeah, I'm Pat Farrell. This is uh, my car. It's a 1964 Thunderbird. And I bought it out from the States from Iowa uh, two years ago, September. It was originally a triple black car, but the American restoration, they took it back to an original Ford color, which is called Rangoon Red. Uh, since I've had it, I've um, taken out a bit of rust here and there. Being a North American car, you have these problems. Uh, fixed up the boot, had all the interior taken out, rust proofed and checked, a couple of small plates put in. The actual uh, motor is a 390. And that's the concourse condition, so that's the colours, exactly how it's set up to be. Except for the battery, which is Australian. And uh, it's all been bead blasted, everything works. It's been re-chromed in the States. I've added the bullet points here, the crosshairs. The wheels are actually a Kelsey Hayes replica, but they're a lot safer than the original ones which had less spokes. Uh, they run a radial tyre on these, so that's quite safe too. The actual features on this particular model, which was the, the first of the flare birds, they had cruise control, which is the little uh, button there with the, um, the runner where you can set your speed. It's got air conditioning, original AM, FM. All power windows, power steering, it's got a tilt steering, as you can see the steering wheel's off centre there. It also, they had 50 models, had a tonneau cover, and they were fitted out by Ford, but they were never registered. So they had actually had a Roadster model, it was the last year for the Roadster models, and they came with the Kelsey Hayes. But other than that, they're all classified convertibles, and this is an original convertible in so much as that's the interior that they had from Ford in those days. The only thing here is it's a cloth finish where it should be a vinyl finish roof. And the actual operation of the, uh, the getting the roof to come up and go down takes 42 seconds. And it's a, com a combination of relays, pressure pumps and hydraulics and all that sort of thing. So it's fairly unique for its time and advanced. And they differ slightly from the 65 that they don't have uh, disc brakes on the front. They've only got drums all around. And uh, just little bits of pieces on the car which actually make them different from the 65s. Including the Thunderbird emblem at the back there and also the Thunderbird lettering on the front of the car. So they run a 390 motor which is 300 horsepower. And originally there was only 9,160 odd models made of this particular car in the convertible. When they're working they're an absolute charm to uh, beauty to drive, you know, you can have the roof down obviously and uh, it's just, just something to be, believe when you're actually behind the wheel. 